got Brady Neal up next, or okay. we can go Tommy or Monster. Surprise right. you? There's Brady. Okay. Left-handed bat. Tell me when. Just roll it through right, first, okay. and now yeah. we go back and do it again. That's also great. It is. That's also great. Now he falls back on his back. That's okay. And I, he pulled it. I'm he saying, pulled it. and we'll find out why too. We can go ahead. Yeah. So stop. stop. Ooh, great. Now see this upper half to great. me, but but to me, like this is what I mean by maximizing in a way, or not even maximize, because I could I could still point something out here if you want right. to point it out. But my point is, upper half wise, this is where I would love to see every hitter get. And I, I since I you know, quote unquote, give lessons. I always tell hitters this, and I really do mean this. I don't give a damn if you want to bring the, a chair out of the dugout with you and put it in the box. That's fine. Do whatever you want. Style, stance is a style to me. And that is whatever you're comfortable with. But if I can't see you consistently get to these spots on time, now we need to talk about tinkering how you start. Because right. I'm just trying to get you to this spot as on time, all the time, as much as possible, right? And so what he's able to do upper half to me is great. Now, what I see a little bit lower half is just a, a hair. Like, and I'm talking like not bad, honestly. A hair bit of lower half leakage. And I think that's why you end up getting the quote unquote, like you said, lean back at the end of the swing is because I kind of leaked a little bit and now that makes me have to come off of that a little more than I want. But that's just youth as well. That's something that he'll learn to actually use a little more as he goes. But this upper half, if yeah. I could get any and every hitter in that spot, we cooking right there. Yeah, and so I know you said that the leak, and I'm not disagreeing. No, it's not bad. It's right. not bad. Because what I see is I still see I see the, the this load, right, with his upper body, which we talked about, which we love. I also see a little bit of still – I still see the connection with his back hips there because he's still, he's still kind of loaded into it. Now, he could probably get a little bit more in there. But he's not to where – see, like, so he starts here, and then he gets back, and he's, so he kind of has – now right there, that's when he's about to offer a swing forward. So that's a little different. But there's a little bit of leakage. I see it right there. Yeah. Even on, that's, that's the next slide. Not ton. Like, minimal, so, which – don't even worry about it. Like, I don't even want to, like, say leakage because, like, I don't want you to think I'll, I'll tell you where I get leakage from when I, when I see it. Th this is going to be super technical. So you see, if I drew a rod – if I stuck a rod right in between his big toe and his middle toe on his back foot, and I literally was, it was pointing like a flag straight up out of the sky, right? I think the guys that are really, really, really special at holding their backside are really, really, really special at holding that knee over that back toe for as long as possible. And now some guys that are not good at it's – the, it's the weirdest move ever. I don't think it was something I was ever able to do. But you also will see some guys who once they start to load, that back knee will shoot backwards and find its way yeah. over that knee. The guys that are able to do that are the ones that are really able to hold that backside. And if we went back to Travinsky's swing, you'll see what I mean because look at where Brady's foot is and look at where that back knee is. That's what I mean by leakage is understanding how to keep that back before you're actually ready to launch. Yeah. And that's a difference. When he's, he's launching at this point, you get what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. he's already launching. So for me, those are the guys that I see or right. that are able to quote unquote hold that spot a and little more. And so longer. his his initial move is a lot simpler. Like it's not as big. And I convinced you to have a big move, but like it's not as it was a little bit simpler of a of a load and of yeah. a move. He does a really good job with his upper body. I'm okay with the lower half. I know you're okay with the lower half. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm not, not not okay with it. And yeah, so because on this in this situation, he's back and he's strided <clears> and he's still in a position where he can. He's behind it, and he can unload on it, right? Now go to the next frame, a couple frames, right? So look at that. Stack. Go back, go back, go back. One more. So right before he gets the contact, like when he starts to when he starts to bring that, right there. That, it's pretty good, mm -hmm. right? So now you talk about the connection. You talk about the bat lag. You if you have, if we could get this in super slow mo from this moment. You see that that elbow coming through, and that bat is connected, and it's lagging, and it's lagging, and then when he makes contact, it's through, 
And this is a grand slam. This is his yeah. grand slam. Yeah. To right field. It, 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 the, so, like, you understand, too. Like, and you're look, watching. Look, you stay closed on the front side, too. Of course. Too. You're watching two dudes be. I mean, I'm talking super technical about a swinger right now, right? And not every swing is going to be perfect. So, that's kind of what we're getting on this thing. And there's no. Oh, he needs to go back in the lab. This is not good enough. That's not no, this is at great. All what I'm saying. He is so in the fight, it's not even funny right <laughs> here. But if I'm going to break it down and get super technical, to me, that's when I see. When I, when I see hitters that are like really, really, really unbelievable at using their lower half, it almost seems like when they start their load, if I freeze frame them in a spot, it almost seems like they could hold that spot for a day and a half if they wanted to. It almost seems to me, and look, he can get away with it a little bit because he's got a wider start, but it almost seems to me as soon as that load starts, it's almost a little bit of a, a leakage, right? But he starts at a wider spot, so it allows him to do it because it's not a big move and he starts at a wider spot. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So, like, that's what I see in those, in, in those two things. And this was, I mean, this is a great But swing. that's this an unbelievable. Is, look at how stacked yeah. he is at that swing right this there. Is a, uh, this is a grand slam. I think his exit view is like – can you can you get to contact point again? So that ball probably is at let's be fair and say at his letters when he gets the contact. Go ahead, shoot it again. Right? Yeah. Let's be fair and say it at his letters when he gets the contact. You think he's still thumb up? I mean, uh, bottom hand up, top hand down right so now. You got on top of that? You think he got on top? Do you do you think he tried to chop down to get to that baseball? Or do you think he still let that same thing? Do you think his hands are above the baseball still? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that matters, right? Mm -hmm. So there you go. Great swing. Another good one. Home run. And and then go ahead and look, back he, it up just a just a hair for me. I think he falls back a little bit. He does, but watch how far that back shoulder goes that, towards the pitcher. Right. Keep going. Look at that. Yep. And I think it's a little bit because that pitcher's in a little bit. Yeah, a little right. Bit. So, but I mean, that's, that's a firm base right mm -hmm. there. Love that. Love grand slams. Yeah. Great swing. That's two really good.